Hello and welcome to BuildBox. In this video, we want to talk about some of the different functions of sub-assets and a few of the presets we've given you to get started quickly. So if I select a sub-asset from my scene, like this box, up here in the top right corner in the options bar, we have several presets to get started. You can choose the platform preset to set this sub-asset as a platform, and this makes it a fixed object, meaning it won't move throughout the game. Wherever you place this asset on screen, it will stay there forever as a platform. You could set up a sub-asset as a physics object, which means that it will adhere to the in-game physics. So if you have gravity enabled, for example, gravity will make the object fall. Next, we could set it as an enemy. Now, this would probably be best for a sub-asset like an enemy. Setting something as an enemy means that it will defeat the character if it's touched. By default, an enemy object is fixed, but it can be changed to physics in the advanced settings. Next, we have enemy bullet. This is a fixed object that uses the spawner advanced setting to create. We also have the character bullet setting, which is great if you have a separate sub-asset for your character bullets. The decoration setting, which is a fixed object that has no collision. All sub-assets can move through a decoration object. And then we have the wheel setting. This is a physics object that can be attached to a character in order to create a wheel. So as you're arranging your sub-assets for use in your game, the sub-asset presets can help you assign things quickly and easily to get up and running in no time. Thanks for watching.